But for over a decade now, Manchester has been England's musical mecca, producing bands like The Four, Joy Division and New Order, The Smiths, and most recently, The Stone Roses. Here's more. Oh, Manchester, so much to answer for. Manchester's always had this image of being a bit dour and a bit sort of Joy Division and raincoats great, yeah. and things like that, and people can only stand so much of that, you know. Looking for the next big thing in pop music? You may need to look no further than Manchester, England. A decade or so ago, Manchester was the wet, gloomy, altogether unlikely spawning ground of such now celebrated doom rock groups as The Fall, The Smiths, Joy Division, and New Order. What is there about this deeply unlovely city that's nurtured so much great music? A lot of people in Manchester seem more into music than everywhere else it's because there's not really a lot else to do. Now, Manchester's unique brand of industrial boredom has produced a second wave of wild new bands. And suddenly, this out-of-the-way city has become the center of the biggest musical buzz in all of England. I think all of this came about because there's in England there's a program called Top of the Pops and three Manchester groups were in the charts on top of the pops all on the same night and everyone went, wow, what's happening in Manchester? The Manchester sound incorporates several styles, all of them tinged with a vintage psychedelic feel, from the trance dance excursions of Happy Mondays and the trippy pop of Stone Roses to the disco mechanics of 808 State and the moody musical landscapes of In Spiral Carpets. But Manchester pop is more than just a sound, it's also a lifestyle, a distinct subculture with its own ways of dressing up, getting high, and most notably, dancing. Somehow it all seems, well, sort of 60s. It's the top people, it's top buzz, top music, top atmosphere, no hostility, unity. Unity. It's so friendly and everyone's having a good time. What we've done is, is like sort of created the 90s interpretation of the hippie scene, you know, a, a more modernist view to it, but the, the basic structure's still there and it does come from there, you know. Manchester fashion revolves around hooded sweatshirts, Timberland boots, and post-ridiculous bell-bottom pants, which the English call flares. Originally people wore them because it was so out of it to wear them, I think. Well, it was an element of it. And also, you could get them off your off your, hit your parents, get them off your dad or whatever. If you're coming from America, the thing is to get up to Manchester and we'll fix you with a pair of flares, 26 inches wide, and a Manchester T-shirt. That's regulation kit. So vibrant is the Manchester scene that on Friday nights, people flock from all over England to soak up the sights and sounds at such places as the Hacienda Club, or the Hallucienda, as it's also called, an asset house mecca owned by New Order's label, Factory Records. They show up appropriately decked out and, of course, ready to dance. You seeing what we've been seeing here for... When did it start? It started in May, May 88 or whatever. We were seeing children in a frenzy. I think it's, yeah, it's the people in here and in the audience in the, in the club that make it really because they're all pretty wild people and they don't give down about anything, you know, and it's just got a specific atmosphere. We're all quite pleased with each other getting on now. I mean, everyone hates all that back slapping business that's been going on with the, you know, everyone's been on top of the pot. And, yeah. But there is a sort of Bond. But as local police never tire of noting, communal spirits aren't the only thing that's high on the Manchester scene. There's a lot of ecstasy in this town at one time, that's all, that's all people came for. There's nothing special about it. True enough, apparently. Certainly there was something a lot more special than psychedelic drugs that drew some 20,000 people to the enormous GMEX complex last weekend to see Happy Mondays and 808 State perform. <laughs> It was something that couldn't be found down in snooty old London. A sound, a vibe, a real live hype-free scene. One that Americans will be hearing a lot more about very soon. Thank you and good night, Manchester rules the way. No, I'm not wearing them. I don't care how hip they are, I will not wear flares. Angela, our stage manager, on the other hand, does tend to go for the, uh, the post-ridiculous look. 
Congratulations on your fashion courage, Angela. Thank you, We Dora. appreciate it. Here's a band out of the Manchester scene right now, the Stone Roses with Fool's Gold. <laughs> 